A student is experimenting with a sample of an unknown material. She determines various properties of the material. She determines that it's shiny, malleable, and has a high melting point. And we're asked, is it most likely a metal, a metalloid, or a non-metal? So to figure this out, we're gonna look at each of the properties that are mentioned about this material and decide are those met metallic properties, are those non-metallic properties, and use that to make our decision. The first property listed is shiny. Shiny is typically a quality of metals. So I'm gonna write that here. Non-metals on the other hand are usually dull. The next property is malleable. Malleable means when you hit it, for example, hit it with a hammer, it will get a dent in it and it will deform. The opposite of that would be non-malleable, which would be that if you hit it, it perhaps broke. So malleable or malleability is a property common in metals. So again, that's a metallic property. The last property listed is that it has a high melting point. Again, this is typically a property of metals. Metals normally have high melting points, whereas non-metals normally have low melting points. So since this material has three properties, which are all the properties of metals, it's very clear that this material is going to be a metal. So we can check that here. Yeah, that's a metal. In this question, we have a different unknown material. Again, we're gonna look at the properties listed to decide what type of material this is. The first property listed is that it's a poor conductor of electricity. So usually metals are good conductors of electricity and non-metals are poor conductors. So this property points to this being a non-metal. Our next property there is non-malleable. So we already defined malleable means if you hit it with a hammer, it will deform or change shape. If something's non-malleable, that means it's more likely to break or shatter when it gets hit. And usually metals are malleable and non-metals are non-malleable. So again, this is a non-metal type property. Lastly, it lists low density. So typically metals have a high density and non-metals have a low density. So this is a non-metal property again. So this material has all three properties of a non-metal. So that makes me pretty confident that this material is a non-metal. Here we have one more sample of an unknown material. So again, let's look at the properties and determine whether they are properties of metals or non-metals. So firstly, it says the material is shiny. Typically metals are shiny, whereas non-metals are dull. So that's a metal type property. Next, it says it's non-malleable. Now, as we've discussed earlier in the video, metals are usually malleable and non-metals are typically non-malleable. So this is a non-metal property. Lastly, it says it's a moderate conductor of electricity. Typically, metals are good conductors of electricity and non-metals are poor conductors of electricity. This one is a moderate conductor, so it's somewhere in between. So that's pointing me towards maybe a metalloid, which is somewhere between a metal and a non-metal. So on this one, we had one property that's common in metals, one that's common in non-metals, and one that's somewhere in between. So that's making me feel this material is probably a metalloid. Yeah, that's a metalloid. So when we're answering these questions, we wanna look at the properties and for each one determine, is this common in metals or non-metals? And then use that to determine, is the material all metallic properties? That would be a metal. Is it all the properties of non-metals? That would make it a non-metal. Or is it a combination of metal and non-metal properties? That would make it a metalloid.